A community in mourning tonight as state police investigate a double murder suicide. That shooting happening last night near Lake Ariel in Wayne County. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choate shows us how people there are remembering the victims of the tragedy. Darkness you see. The soothing sound of a guitar gently echoed through Light of Christ Church in Jefferson Township as family, friends, and fellow parishioners shared hugs, tears, and memories. Carrie was vivacious, awesome. awesome, loyal, a warrior. State police say William Rowan shot and killed Carrie Martini and her boyfriend Dale Thomas before turning the gun on himself. Investigators say the shooter and Carrie had recently ended their relationship and that may have played a role in this tragedy. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I can't go in there and say this makes sense. I can't tell people that, but I can say Carrie lived like she was ready to die every single day. She lived a life that she has no regrets. Pastor Pat Lee led the service to pray for all three people who died in the double murder suicide. But Carrie was well known in this tight knit community. Even when she was out socially, she made friends with people that maybe others didn't. She was always looking for someone who was lost. And that was her heart. Carrie ran Destiny Karate, and she was passionate about teaching people self defense, even appearing on PA Live earlier this year. So you can go you know, and the knee to run away. The 45 year old also volunteered her time to create this beautiful baptismal pond behind the church. We know that right now her legacy will live on, not just through this garden, but certainly through all of our hearts because she made such an impact on all of us. And I will rise. In Jefferson Township, Kelly Cho, Eyewitness News. The Wayne County coroner expects to perform autopsies on the three people involved in that double murder-suicide later on this week.